Turbo Machine Centrifugal Pump. For today, we would like to discuss again about the blade type uh, in centrifugal pump. Uh, as uh, we mentioned in previous video, we have three blade type. One is forward, radial, and the backward. This is the forward blade, and then it's something like this and we could draw the velocity triangle as this one uh, i have uh, explained detail about this in my previous video so this is the velocity triangle at inlet and this is velocity triangle at outlet and the forward blade has blade angle more than 90 degree this is radial uh, bear in mind that the radial is actually uh, reflect the blade shape at the outlet so not the inlet at the outlet so the outlet is radial is straightforward 90 degrees like this parallel with the radial direction here so we call this a radial blade and the velocity triangle at the outlet will become like this and we assume that vr2 is equal to vf2 and here u2 is equal to v wall 2 And this is the backward blade like this and then the velocity triangle is uh, like this and the blade angle is less than 90 degree so you may refer uh, my previous video about how to draw a velocity drawing uh, triangle in blade uh. so uh, and then uh, we need to know the effect of blade type Centrifugal pumps do not always have backward curved vein, but when they do, it is mostly for fluid in the incompressible regime of operation such as water. For compressible operation of fluid such as an air, forward curved vein centrifugal pumps are used. The net ideal head developed by a centrifugal pump is given by H ideal is equal A minus BQ, where a here and B here is the constant for a given impeller running at a given speed and Q here is the volume flow rate at the imp impeller outlet. So uh, sometimes the, when you buy a pump, the manufacturer will give you this equation. They will give you what is the value of A and what is the value of B to represent the, what is the H ideal, the pump head, the ideal pump head for that uh, centrifugal pump. So why the blade type is important because blade uh, head blade angle will give you this kind of curve. For example, if we have curve of idle head and discharge, we found that if we use backward facing, if we increase the discharge here, the ideal head mean the uh, capability of that palm to transfer water from low to high level will decrease. And then if we have a radial, it's not uh, significantly changed, but for forward blade, we found that if we increase the discharge, the flow rate inside the pump, the idle head can be increased. Do note that the value of the actual head developed by the pump will be lower than this ideal value owing to shock. Means that the theoretical head and the actual head will be different. For sure, uh, actual head will be lower compared to the theoretical head because there is a resistance or there is a losses. So the idea of losses, we call it H of shock is equal to K1 is equal to K1 times QD minus Q square. QD here is the theoretical volume flow rate and Q here is the actual volume flow rate. And K1 here is the resistance coefficient. So and then we could uh, simplify that shock here is actually friction. So we could write as head of friction is equal to K2Q square. So K2 here is the value so some uh, the value of uh, friction uh, coefficient 
So uh, in Fluid Mechanics 1 and Fluid Mechanics 2, we are focusing to have uh, to have value in uh, F L over D V square over 2G but uh, in option subject in hydraulic machine and pipe system we will uh, learn about how to calculate the losses by using K2 Q square here this is the graph showing the actual head uh, and the discharge and then uh, this is the curve uh, shown by the backward blade and this is the radial and this is the forward so and then uh, we could say that uh, in uh, reality so the actual head here will uh, have this kind of curve and we found that when the palm has backward blade so if we increase the discharge so the actual head will decrease and the radial it will slightly de increase and then it will uh, decrease like this and the forward will give a, a long a long range of increment in actual head before it's uh, going down like this so the idea of uh, having this curve is when you operate centrifugal palm you must know that uh, every time you increase your discharge or your volume flow rate inside your pipe, it doesn't mean that you could create a uh, high actual heat. So it means that you must know what is the balance, what is the best discharge of uh, flow rate for that uh, particular uh, centrifugal pump be to have your optimum or your best uh, manometric heat here. And then the power required to drive the pump to provide a given flow rate is given as uh, is given as P is equal to rho GQH, where H is the head of uh, ideal for uh, certain pump, and the representative uh, representative curve are given below. So if we have a power here. And then you have a discharge here you will found that the backward will curve like this the radial is something like linear uh, line here and the forward will increase like this so it means that if we uh, increase the discharge here so for the backward here the power is uh, slightly uh, not not give so much a different but for radial you, in, you increase the discharge the power required to operate that palm will increase too and also the forward blade centrifugal palm if you increase the discharge inside that palm so the power required to operate the forward blade centrifugal palm will exponentially increase so it means that we for backward it might be not uh, uh, too much different here but for radial and forward you will need more power to have more discharge here but if you see the relationship between discharge and heat here you will find that if you increase discharge sometime the, the manometric head or the head of palm will not increase so means that it is just uh, you have no uh, it is just uh, no need to increase the discharge because it just only increase the power required as is evident from the power discharge characteristic of the radial and forward vein centrifugal pump the power requirement increase monotonically with an increase in discharge hence if the pump motor is rated for maximum power then it will remain underutilized for most of the operating time and result in an increased cost due to its higher rating on the other hand if a motor is rated at the design point and due to some reason the flow rate exceed the design flow rate then the power requirement will shoot up in case of forward and radiant vanes only causing overloading and motor failure however for backward curved vane centrifugal pumps if the flow rate exceed the design flow rate 
occurs quite close to the maximum of the power discharge curve, then, contrary to the earlier case, the power requirement drops down as evident from the curve. This enables the motor, which is rated at the design power, to handle the entire range of flow rate without any problems. The actual design point is located correspondingly to the flow rate at which maximum efficiency occurs. And this table shows the comparison of blade type uh, and its usage uh, between these three, three types of blade. So we have backward, we have radial, we have forward, and this is the velocity triangle at outlet. So uh, we already have uh, another, uh, another session uh, talking about velocity triangle. But the velocity triangle at the inlet here, as you could see, so I simplify the velocity triangle into this one. So means that uh, I simplify the value of V1 here is equal to zero and it will make V1 is equal to Vf1. Also in a radial, so V1 and Vf1 will occur like this and this is V1 equal Vf1. So uh, I will explain why we could assume V1 equal to zero in my next video. So for backward here, it is uh, for low volume uh, and then it could be operated at high speed and it is stable. And it shows high excellent efficiency and it is suitable for liquid. However, for radial here, it shows the intimate, uh, it is for intermediate volume and because the speed is also intermediate and the stability is also intermediate, uh, it shows low efficiency for liquid, it is easy to build, it is low cost and it is suitable for a small pump. And this is for the forward, it could be used for the high volume and but the, it must be operated in low speed. It is not suitable for liquid, it shows low efficiency for liquid and it is suitable for gas. So I hope by having this uh, table you could explain the advantage and the disadvantage of uh, each type of uh, centrifugal pump. The disadvantage here it means that we need to choose a suitable far a suitable pump for a suitable application.